Greetings, everybody. It is the Ash Return. Welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3. In the previous episode, we did some more exploration of the Underdark surrounding Grimforge. Actually, not surrounding Grimforge. More surrounding the Mykonid colony. And uh, we got a reward from the Mykonids, uh, which was great. We are now a, uh, you know, an honored citizen of the Mykonid colony, which is probably, uh, you know, might be where Ash ends up retiring to once she's done with this whole, uh, you know, brain slug business. Um, but we found a wizard's tower, a wizard's tower, or more of a cleric's tower, actually, because technically isn't the person that's supposed to be living in here, Lenora, a cleric of Mistra? I don't know. I mean, clerics of Mistra and wizards. There's a bit of overlap, I guess. But anyways, we're here now. We're going to investigate this more, and once we're done with the tower, if we can manage to do that today, I have no idea how long it's going to uh, take in order for us to do that. We will uh, investigate further, um, you know, check more about the Underdark. There's plenty more to be had, or to be step forward. found. Whoops, wrong button. I'm used to Rogue Trader. Um, hi, that's that's a button. <laughs> I'm really used to Rogue Trader right now. <laughs> I've been playing a lot of Rogue Trader. Um, <laughs> you guys haven't checked out my Rogue Trader series, you guys should do so. It is, you know, uh, like I said in the previous episode, it's it's a bit like this. It's a CRPG, and it's awesome. <laughs> it's really good. Um, I, Wizard's yeah, as far as, like, game of the year for me, I, I don't know. It's either Baldur's Gate or Rogue Trader, that's for sure. Oh, good. But as this wizard's not home, nope. I say we take a peek. What did you say? I was talking over you, I'm very sorry. Um, something about going in here. We got ourselves another arcane turret, so I'm going to kill that. Um, let's go into turn-based mode. And we can have Ash do it, because Ash can actually damage these things, apparently. Target is too far. Well... Shit. That's all I can say. Can't reach destination. Yes, you can. Don't be ridiculous. Jump, jump through the window. We can get in that way. Uh-oh. I don't know if we're going to be able to get away from this, though. I think we're going to get blasted. I think we're going to get blasted, unless we kill it. Can we kill it in one hit? Close. Like it's well be Almost done. worked. Um, man, I, I would have Lazel tank it. Not what I wanted. I'd have Lazel tank the damage. Man, she can jump far. I, I'm gonna have her tank the damage, actually. Screw it. Uh, we can heal her up afterwards, uh, and she can second wind next turn. Um, is there... Yeah, we're not going to be able to do any damage to it with uh, with anything else with her. So I think she's just going to have to have to take it. Can we uh, use Sing to attack rolls, charisma, wisdom, and intelligence saving throws? That's not going to help here. Okay. Um, I don't think we have anything that's going to help here. <laughs> I think we're just going to get shot, uh, which is unfortunate. And that turn, um, all right, Shadowheart, we can then move in, because the turret's going to attack, uh, Lazel, so that's fine. Shadowheart will let Lazel take the fire from the turret, and just not feel bad about it, in the slightest. We could do a Prayer of Healing. It can only be used outside of con combat. We're not technically in combat, so I could do it. But at that point, that is a level 2 spell. That's our last level 2 spell. I don't know what kind of combat we're going to get into. I could always rest. Like, there, there doesn't seem to be any time constraints here. So I might just rest afterwards. We could drop this. Just to make sure that she doesn't die. So I can hit Gale. Gale doesn't need it, so screw it. Alright. So those two are now healed. Yeah, nothing you can do. Gale. Gale might actually just be able to kill it. To be ideal. Oh, that actually works. Can't reach destination? You're full of lies. I know you can reach the destination. Come on, Gale. I, I, I clicked jump. It costs three meters of movement speed. Oh, so he actually used all of his movement speed to do that. Cool. Um, well, uh, I, I guess we're not killing it this turn. That's... Unfortunate. This has 18 meter range. It seems like all of the spells have 18 meter range. Is there a way to in to increase that? Yeah, C coming from the Rogue Trader uh, character building system, which, sorry D&D, &D, it's 
just a lot better. <laughs> it is... Oh, God. It's... It's so much more my thing. It, I, I won't say it's necessarily better. Like, it really depends on what you're looking for. But, um... The amount of things you can get to modify pre-existing abilities and to create interactions with this with differing abilities and the control you get over your character's stats and just the, the frequency of getting small little upgrades rather than waiting for these big jumps where you get sometimes something that you can customize, sometimes not. It, it's, it's so much more my way of doing things. Uh, so, why I was, why I went on that tangent is like, oh, I wonder if there's like a, a feat or something that will increase the range of spells. And for all I know, there might be. Um, but I was like, in Rogue Trader, there's almost certainly something that can do that for various, uh, <laughs> actually, I know there's something that can do that for various abilities, so I was like, that that would be really cool here. If, if we could, at some point, have Gale have a feat that gives him the ability to make certain spells have longer range. But I don't know if that's a thing. I guess we'll have to see. Sorry, I'll stop the D&D slander. Okay, um, because we gotta take this thing out. I think I'm just gonna take it out with Ash. There's another one too, by the way, so. Um, I'm gonna hit it with both, because I don't actually know, like, it's no guarantee that, yeah, see, one of them dealt zero damage, the other one dealt 14, so. And let's, let's actually just exit turn-based mode, because that one's not gonna be able to target us. There's no sense in dilly-dallying, taking a bunch of time. I mean, there probably is, actually. Oh. Broken machinery. The cogs of this metal contraption are bent out of shape. The steel sheeting sheeting dented and cracked. Still, you can make out two sets of initials embossed upon it. LDH and YTS. L? Maybe Lenora? Why are you saving? What's the meaning of this? More of it. Okay, more things. Um, no reason to take the hammer, but I'll definitely take these. Okay, now I'm going to enter turn-based mode. Or let's, we can move up a little bit more. That's the box we just checked. Very good. Now I'm going to enter turn-based mode, and I want to see if I can just take this thing out. Oh, there. One hit. All right. Problem solved. Cool. Uh, Elixir of Arcade Cultivation, very nice. I'll take that, plus three healing potions. They're minor healing potions, but those are still pretty handy for removing. Man, I'm pressing tab all the time because it reveals the things in the Overland map, but that's not what that does in this game. That is what it does in Rogue Trader. The elevator. This looks like an elevator, at least. Is it an elevator? Did we ascend? Looks With like form? some kind of magical contraption. Now to get it to work. Okay, it's not working. Let's see. Um, there's nothing we can do with these. It might be some sort of puzzle. Okay. Um, arcane brazier. Do we need to light these up? No way to ignite these. Strange. I bet I could light them on fire. Which way to the nearest library? I didn't light them on fire. Okay. It's not lighting them on fire either, so... Step by step. Perhaps that's not what we're supposed to do? Um, there doesn't appear to be anything here. Is it... Is it... Shift or Alt? I, I legit don't remember. Why do all these games have different key bindings? Why can't there just be a universal system? I know why. You don't need to tell me. <laughs> uh huh. Okay. I see. It's a bit of a jumping puzzle. Alright, uh, that's fine. We'll we'll do that in just a sec. I want to just check the other, because there was... I, I'm assuming there's another one. I don't actually know. Yes, there is another door. And these crystals, we can't actually take. They're just fakes. Alright, um, down here, anything to be found? There is a gilded chest. Chest of the mundane. Yeah? Okay, it's not trapped. What does it say? 
Looking at this chest fills you with a suspiciously overwhelming feeling that there is absolutely nothing special about it. Yeah. Just got some cup. You know what? This is... There's something special about it. I'm certain of it. God damn it. Uh, <laughs> I feel like maybe we need to activate the tower or something. And that'll actually show some cool items. So I'm not going to take what's in there. Also because what's in there is useless. At the moment. So we're going to head out here. And maybe we need to go down to go up. Obviously, like, it's a wizard's tower. Or a cleric's tower, I suppose. So... It's probable that whatever is going to be important is going to be up there, but the only way we can seemingly go is down, so I guess we're going to go down. Hopefully we don't take any damage here. We'll loot this burlap sack and get some nice rags. Worth it already. I should not have opened that door. What if there's an arcane turret behind it? There does not appear to be any arcane turrets in here. It just seems to be one floor defended. And then, and the outside, of course. What else might we have? Some water? I'm gonna actually hold on to that water and use it in combat. You might be wondering, how can you use water in combat? Well, you can throw water over fiery surfaces or other surfaces, I imagine, that are uh, hostile. Like, you know, I imagine you can throw water at like a, an acid surface to wash the acid away. I, I don't know. Still, the same clothes. I, I know there are clothes later in the game. More clothes. It's just like, I, I don't know. They could have presented us with some of them by now. You know, imagine how filthy everybody is wearing the same clothes that they started their adventure in. Hey. Wait a minute. Hey, it's the Tim Mask spores. We need these. Do we get the other ones here too? Fuck's sake. Okay. Well, we got one thing. Can I break these and get what I need out of them, or is this going to cause problems? That didn't do what we wanted it to do, so let's not do that. Red Bear Book, what do you have to say? How can I trust? How will I ever know? How can I show myself my darkest me? Okay. Seems like the owner was quite the literary type. Yeah. Supply pack? That's nice. That's a free rest if we need them. Tongues of Madness. Here we go. These are the other ones we needed, right? Now we can get our, uh... You know, we can get... Assisted by Omelium. Maybe. I, I don't know. This... Is also an elevator. Wait, you have, like, multiple platformed elevators? How's that gonna work? Does this just go up and just slam you up into the upper platform here? Just squish dead. Is that how that goes? Seems like it wouldn't be very effective. Still nothing. We can still descend apparently. I'll oh. give it a shot. Let's uh let's go outside and see what we might find here. Maybe there's another way down. Um, not here. There isn't. Or well, well, I think there is. You know, with the creative use of magic. We could theoretically get down from there. I imagine we could have theoretically got down from the top as well. Just go all the way to the bottom. Because I reckon we need to get all the way to the bottom, because I can't do anything else here. There's no other way out in these areas. And this is where we dropped in, so that doesn't look like it's survivable. So, we're going to head out through here. And, uh, I can feather fall. Not me, but people can feather fall. Where the fuck is Gale? At the ready. This game. You're right, Robert. This game's tapping can be special. It's, uh... Ah! That way. It's something, that's for sure. <laughs> we need Gale because he can feather fall. Right? No. Who, who the fuck can feather fall? Somebody can feather fall. Is it you, Lazo? Yes. It's you. Perfect. Alright, we're gonna switch to turn based mode because this only lasts so long. Then we can just jump down. 
Yeah, it works. Cool. Hopefully it doesn't trigger an encounter immediately. Nope. All right. Good. Never a dull moment. Never a dull moment indeed. We'll have to fly to get back up, though I reckon we can probably activate the tower and not worry about that. How far can we go? We can go pretty far. Whee! All right. My faith will guide me. Will it? Will it, Shadowheart? You might want to rethink that. I've heard the Sharans are bad. I've seen no direct evidence of this myself, ah, but, excellent you choice. know, who am I to doubt the words of others? <laughs> okay. Exit turn base mode. We're all good. So. No one stopped me yet. Featherfall is awesome. Yeah, that will fit in my pack. Time to press ahead. Susser Bloom. Okay. I mean, I guess I'll hold on to it. Rival check failed. God, everyone is just an absolute dunce when it comes to survival. Should probably bring a character. We'll have Halson in the party. Uh, I know you get him in the party. It's at least what everybody's saying. So, I'm, I'm assuming we'll get him in the party at some point. Let's just grab these. I, I don't know. Anti-magic. Mm -hmm. hmm. I have a theory. I have a theory. I want to try it. Well, I, I don't know if I can try it, but... Blackulite. And some more blue cap. What, what is this? This is a lake. If there was a, a moment when an Aboleth was going to attack us, it would be right now. What the fuck is in the water? Just, just some weeds. Okay. I just saw something glowing in the water and getting a little nervous. Like... Ghost Leviathan? Is that you? Please don't be you. Okay. Uh, we could... What is that? Oh, it's just a mushroom. I thought it was a weird-looking scar or wound in reality. Well, there is a door. It is locked. But... I think I can deal with the lock. So we're gonna go deal with the lock. We can lockpick it. I was expecting us not to be able to lockpick it because of its wizardy nature. It's not the easiest lockpicking job ever, but I've got my magic mushrooms to help me out. And uh, we're looking pretty good. Alright, any more uh, arcane turrets in here? Doesn't look like it, but only one way to find out. What have we here? Some alchemical reagents? I'm happy to take these. Hopefully the Lenora doesn't come back. And get upset with us. There's a lever. Always pull the levers. We just lock ourselves in. Okay. Uh, I'm sure it's fine. You can always pull the lever back. And so that works. Alright, lots of alchemical ingredients. I like lots of alchemical What's ingredients. Curious? What's curious? A hole. Okay. Uh, we're gonna have a look at that. Because I actually have the spell that can do that. Glass distillation set. Can't be added to inventory. What the fuck? Uh, we have ourselves treatises, a treatise on anti-magic properties of Susser Tree flowers by L.D. Hurst. For those knowing about Susser Trees, their magical properties have always been a topic of debate. Not only their ability to create an anti-magic aura, which is complete enough that even those unattuned to the weave can feel its effect, but also, and most interestingly, to those living in the world above. The ways its roots, bark, and flowers can be harnessed to make magic items. Rumors of such items are rare, but spread in settlements bordering the Underdark. Their existence, however, has never been confirmed by any of our clerics, nor by any other reputable scholars. I hypothesize that these items are no mere legends, and indeed, in this treatise, I will endeavor to explain how I myself created items that have anti-magic properties, and that use the magical absorption of Susser Tree flowers as a power source. All right. Sasser Tree Flowers. Pretty cool stuff. I'm going to turn this candelabrum on, because that's what you do to candelabrums. You turn them on. I thought there was going to be magical scrolls in these. Oh, yeah. Look at that. And some random books. Any more scrolls? Nothing here. Did I already check this one? I think I checked this one. ADD strikes again. All right. What else do we got? Withered Blue Petals. What the fuck are Withered Blue Petals? Excuse me. I bet we can reassemble that into a flower. If we get three of them. Let's give that a try. Seems like... Uh, can we combine? Come on. Uh, 
Can we not? This has combined. This does not. Okay. So it's not something that we can actually... Hmm. Alright. Well, that's a shame. Uh, what about in here? I wish you could take these glowing gems or do something with them. More alchemical reagents. And in this barrel? More alchemical reagents. No, a purple fluorite shard? And some more alchemical reagents. Alright, I don't know what the purple fluorite shards are for. Maybe we can just sell them. Um... Then again, like, I've been holding on to certain items that... Oh, we can go up. What is up? This thing. Um, but let's look around more down below. I... Ooh, hello. Treasure chest. Let's not forget the treasure chest. I'm gonna forget the treasure chest, almost certainly. It's my short-term memory. Um, like, it's, it's not terrible. It's just very easily distracted. By shiny things. <laughs> okay. Uh, we gotta activate this somehow. The power generator. You know what? I think we can just touch the power generator. What Maybe... Does. What can we put in here? Combine items. Fuck. What goes in the power generator? Just... Do the purple petals go in the power generator? I mean, the withered blue petals. Uh, no. What about the fluorite shards? So not. Um. Damage machinery from alchemical reagents? I, I don't know. I reckon we'll find a hint that will allow us to activate this. What about, what about a mug? No? You don't run on mugs? Jesus. People just don't build engines correctly these days. Bones? Greased, greased pages, even? Come on, greased must be combustible. Paper's definitely combustible. Can no one build a proper combustion engine these days? It's always gotta be some sort of arcane... Weird stuff? Are we sure it's not the withered petals? That's a book. Are we sure it's not the withered... Okay, I, I don't know. I don't know what to do here. Um, I guess we'll find something out. Maybe it's gonna be in the hole? Sounds... A little wrong. So I need to be able to use gaseous form, which means we're gonna have to throw these susser flowers at uh, the susser blooms. You know what, Lazel, you can have the susser blooms. And Lazel, you're gonna have to stand all the way over here because you are currently problematic. So we will split the party, and I'm going to go and cast gaseous form and go into this hole. Let's go into the hole. Where are we now? Really? I mean, it makes sense. That is... Technically... Where it looked like it would come out. Just, I was hoping that... I feel like this is never worth it. To use a spell that's that expensive, and it's a third level spell. As, as a warlock, I can just do a short rest and replenish my uh, spell stock, but... I wonder if we can use the glowing crystal. The problem is, is I can't interact with the glowing crystal to reactivate this forge, so... I don't really know. I'm just gonna stay gaseous formed. Because if I stay gaseous formed... Where's the floor? Wasn't there a floor here a second ago? game. I'm like 100% certain there was a floor here a second ago. There is. I'm, by a floor, I mean stairs. That was weird. Uncovered mysteries. Oh, this grants level 2 detect thoughts. Alright. Um, detect thoughts is always a bit sketchy to use, in my opinion. I'm still not finding what I needed. Potion of speed. Hell yeah. Uh, give that to Lazel. She's been making very good use of those. We'll give that to Gale and a potion of animal speaking. I'm gonna hold on to that myself, even though I can speak with animals whenever the hell I want, but... I'm generally gonna be the one that's going to, uh, actually... ...use... ...such things. I do not know... ...what I'm supposed to put into the, uh... ...the engine. 
power generator. Can I unlatch this door and see if anything happens? Another blue cap. How did I miss this? I'm pretty sure I clicked on this one. I'm also pretty sure blue cap is just camp rations, so maybe I shouldn't be going too far out of my way to find it. Uh, um, doesn't look like there's anything I can fly to from here, because, uh, I mean, I can fly right now, so I may as well use it if I if there's an opportunity to use it. It's just, uh, I don't see any opportunities to use it. Just weird. That still doesn't work. Yeah, I also, I have an anti-magic pill. Shouldn't that deactivate my gaseous form? We checked all of these. Yes. What else could it be? I really do not know. Um, we just need one thing, so it's got to be something that looks like... It's going to be an isolated thing. Just a singular object. Not a repeatable resource. don't know what we can use. These two feel like they should connect together. Does somebody Don't else have sure. something? Did somebody else pick something up? Of use. Oh, that's alchemical reagents, which Ash should hold on to all of the alchemical reagents. Although, actually, maybe I should give them to Gale. Because Gale, I think, can do better alchemy. No, that's only if you have the transmutation mastery. Um, damn, I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe a saucer flower, actually. Yes! So your magic tower runs on an anti-magic... They did kind of hint at that in the book, didn't they? I wouldn't have guessed that. I mean, I did guess that, but... <laughs> that was kind of just a... Gee, I wonder if this is going to be it. Not expecting it to work. Alright. That's cool. Because, yeah, they, they did hint at it. So, is the tower active now? Jesus, I'm bloody. Sure looks active. The turrets have all deactivated, but that's fine. We already did that. Cool. Now everybody knows we're home. So if Lenore's out there picking mushrooms, she's, she sees her tower light up. She's going to be like, hmm, somebody's in my tower. And then I'll have to explain why I stole all of her alchemy supplies. Which I'd rather not do. Am I still a gaseous form? I am still a gaseous form. All right. Well. Road ahead. Breathe deep and move. Okay. We can now get up. Hopefully the stairs are going to materialize this time. Yes, they do. Okay. Cool. Um, checked in there. You know what? I bet. I bet that treasure chest is going to have something cool in it now. Missives of Candlekeep. That's just a random book. It's not specific. What's Note. I am going to check the boxes because I do have uh, alchemical reagents in them from time to time. Or other interesting things. I think I already checked that one, though. Or it was just empty all along. So we cannot descend here. No, we cannot. Okay, so everybody everybody onto the platform. How does this work? Is this just going to shoot me up and splatter me into the platform that's above it? Myself, waiting. Would you kindly... Oh, no, don't. Please. Now's hardly the time. Get in there. All right. Poke the ascend button. Ascend with Gorb. Oh, it's just a teleporter. And this is a chamber that we have explored? Probably. Is this the one with the box? No. 
Yeah, this is the one we jumped off of. Okay, so we ascend one more. Okay, and then we go out here. I'm actually going to just send Shouldn't Ash out. Wish to live in more interesting times. That way we don't have to feet. finagle everybody getting in there again. Here we go. And uh, in case there's a trap, only Ash will explode. Just of the mundane. It's still fucking... So much for that theory. Um, wait a minute. Oh, enough waiting. You I'm have the Susser Bloom. Proceeding. Full of mage armor. I didn't even see that. Secrets of the Sun. Ah, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> All right. <laughs> this is not the theory that I had, but I like it. Okay, Mr. Grace is just going to grant a. Easy use feather fall. All right. Uh, what boots do you have? You have the speedy light feet. I'm gonna keep that because it's lightning charges. Although it's medium armor and lightning charges, I don't know. Maybe I'll yes. give these to Gale. What do you have? You have the boots of speed. That's something that allows you to move very quickly. Comes. Okay. And you? Boots of striding. Looking ahead. What boots do I have? Cannot be changed right now. Is it because I'm a gas cloud? Come on, I can interact with objects. That is a weird thing to be picky about when you're not picky about other things. Quite ready for you. Do I need to dismiss this? I'm just gonna dismiss the Let's gas cloud. Move. It's just a phase, guys. It's just a phase. I don't really want to be a gas cloud. What path lies before me? All right, where the hell is Lazel? What, what boots am I reading? I found it a bit weird that I couldn't even look at what boots I was reading. Or boots I was wearing, I should say. Spider Step. Immune to being in webbed. I am taking the boots of Featherfall. Sorry, Spider Step. It's cool. Uh, I may equip it if we encounter spiders. But at the same time, I don't think I would give it to Ash, because her getting in webbed is not that big of a deal, because she's just a turret anyways. Or she can function as a turret, I should say. She doesn't need mobility to be effective. As opposed to somebody like Lazelle. Or, to a lesser degree, Shadowheart. Who need definitely need their forward. mobility. So, why don't you guys all go back in there. Where's Lazel? Over here. Onward. Get back in the tower. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, okay, it's friendly. But that does deactivate it? Good to know. So, if I had kept that one and not thrown it in my camp, we could have used that to just walk up to the turrets and deactivate them. But that may have just been a temporary deactivation. Oh. It only affects one person. My face protects me. Okay. Then we'll uh, everybody ascend. Okay, we're back in a group. Ooh, oh that is God. a big hole in the ceiling. There's a hole in the ceiling. We could have just flown up here. That's cool. That, you know what? I like that. I like that. Because that would have rewarded me if had I actually like really looked around and looked up. Though I'm not sure I could have looked up without the camera mod. <laughs> but who knows? Uh, it may have worked. Because with looking up, I could have used flight. Or used my gaseous form to just fly up here and bypass this entire thing. Though, activating the tower did give us the reward. Hasteful art of Tirzu ciphers. What? The careful art of Tirzu ciphers. An engraved disc of Githyanki origins contains a complex cipher that can decrypt ancient Gith dialects. A useful discovery if one should encounter any such ancient writings. That's cool. Let's uh, pick that up. Torn up paper. Mm, blotted out with tears, making it barely legible. The silence stretches on. I'm all alone. Please, can I hold your hands just for a while? It sounds like Lenore. Lenore seemed pretty sad. Somebody died? Somebody... Uh, I think it was a... Was it a, a dog? I think. Her, her pet dog that she had here had died. We found the grave for it. I remember that. Scroll of Dimension Door. Hell yeah, Dimension Door is awesome. Um, mage armor. I'll give the mage armor to Gale. I'll take the rest myself. The Roads to darkness. Is this a... Okay, this is just a... Maybe it's a good read, but... Again, if I read every single book, we're never going to finish this game. An engraved Githyanki disc. You can actually look at this. Oh. Disc appears in oh. your mind's eye. Lazan oh, oh. sees it too. And considers the vision. Tissu markings. Ancient. I recognize them, but I can't make sense. No. 
Wait. The texts are enciphered, but I've solved the pattern. It's a story about about Orpheus. I suppose Your head that buzzes is. in concert with Lazelle's, but it hardly matters. Even without the connection, you'd recognize her discomfort. Yeah. Uh, who's Orpheus? A traitor. A dead one. This text is heresy. I can hardly bear to read it, let alone speak it. <laughs> bear it just fine. Tell me what it says. Or it can be nice. Uh, I'm curious. Sorry, Lazel. Very well. I will read it to you. The Prince of the Comet, Part 1. So it was that we were free from gay shackles and turned our blades on each other. The heavens were shattered, and one great empire was divided in two. Gith traveled to the Hells to broker help for her people, her cause. Mm. Vlakith would have you believe Mother Gith proclaimed her our queen. Lies. Gith made no such proclamation. Vlakith seized the empire against the mother's wishes. But Gith had nurtured a son, Orpheus, Prince of the Comet, the true heir. He knew Vlakith's treachery. Orpheus rallied Gith's honor guard and declared the throne for himself. The War of the Comet had begun. Yep. Yeah. From the perspective of Disregard a... Disregard this... this drivel. <laughs> Gith declared Vlakith Queen of the Empire and her own son defied her. Orpheus would have ceded control to the Geich. Um... Sounds like, uh, something Blacketh or a narrative Blacketh would probably spin up to enforce her own legitimacy, though, doesn't it? Uh. <laughs> and if it's true, it sounds like Blacketh betrayed Gith and seized the throne. She did nothing of the sort. Thank your good fortunes, I'm a tolerant woman. Or I'd have sliced off a few toes for suggesting it. Ah, yes, tolerance. Lazel's strong suit. <laughs> Just being able to say that at these moments. <laughs> Bad Lazel, wait for me in camp. <laughs> Alright, a handwritten note. Is this the one we already read? No. Dearest Lenore, I'm not sure I should say this, but your last letter really worried me. Why in all the hells would you tame a bulette? Why in all the hells would you not tame a bulette? Do you know how fucking awesome that would be? Can we tame a bulette? Please tell me we can tame a bulette. If that is something you can do in this game, I don't care if it's a spoiler, just give me a yes or a no. Just because you found it near Myrna's grave, Myrna was the dog, yeah, uh, doesn't mean that it's a sign. I'm really worried about you, Lenore. A bulette is not a pet. Fuck you, yes it is. Using it as a guardian is one thing, but you sound quite taken by it. Why wouldn't you be taken by it? It is a land shark. Land sharks are awesome. I know you don't want to come back before you finish your research, but if you're feeling lonely, you know my door is always open. Lots of love and hugs. Amorith. P.S. It really warms my heart to hear that you put the autumn crocus flowers on Myrna's grave. I remember she liked to roll around in them, even though she'd always sneeze after. It was such a soft, loyal dog. I wish there was more I could do. God, and I robbed her grave and the autumn crocus flowers and dug up her corpse. Jesus, I feel terrible. Maybe I should stop digging up random graves. I don't know, maybe they're graves of nice people. Proceeding. Rather than... God damn it, I did it again. <laughs> Torn out paper. That's the one we already read, right? <laughs> yes. Alright. <laughs> That's probably addressed to Amaris. Check these bookshelves. I know what's wrong with me. Why am I like this? Shabby wardrobe. Two gold. All right, good fine. Button. Better press it. Nothing. Got it. What's the point of a button so near the ground? I'm gonna have Ash do these things because it's more in Ash's character. I feel like Lazel wouldn't do this type of ridiculous shit, whereas Ash absolutely would. Ash is like, ooh, button. I better poke it. Uh, all right. This is cool. Plus one Arcana. Plus one religion. Sunwalker's Gift. We can see in the dark. I kind of want that. Color spray? I can remove color spray. We'll give that to somebody else. Salutations. Uh, Gail, you can have color spray. So that's 
progress. That'd be a nice uh, oh, fuck you button in case you get like chased or caught by anyone in melee. What to do? Although I think by the time or by the point we're at in this campaign, it's probably not going to be that useful. Considering most of the enemies we're fighting are higher level. Oh, that is an alarming noise. Can we look through the telescope? I spy with my little eye. Nothing of note, really. Yeah, because you're pointing it at the cavern ceiling. Like, that is pointed directly at the cavern ceiling. I don't know what you're hoping to see, but... Maybe she was, like, studying some, I don't know, cavern ceiling spiders or something. You know, in perfect honesty, that's probably what I would do with the telescope something if I was in a cave, here. too, so... I hope. Yeah, I, I get it. To the gray and cave to get the Yankee disc. Yeah, we, we've already seen those. I'm not going to pick up every single book. All right, let's go further up. Um, is this the final lair? I don't know. Go up then. Everybody in. Come on. I know you can do it. All right. Uh. Oh. Hi. Oh. Hi. Is it the contemptuous You know these words. They are from the opening oh, shit, stanza of a play book. you found in this very tower. Or art thou friend? A rescue from my lonely wake. Uh, apparently, I read it. Come out of love for me, not love for blood and steel. Come on, as if you can. Don't get me wrong. I love poetry as much as the next wizard, but using it to command an automaton oh, seems a bit self-indulgent to me. Oh, come on. I know you like it, Gail. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. All right. Um, the silence stretches on. I'm all alone. Please, can I hold your hands for just a while? Of course, my love. And I'm sorry. Don't be afraid, sweet girl. What can I do? Would you like a hug? Uh, yeah. Come here. That looks dangerous. It looks more electrified. His arms are too tight and too low for a comfortable hug. As if he's meant to be embracing someone slightly shorter. See? You are lovely and so much. You're doing great. And everyone will be so proud of you. Interesting. So Lenore created him, presumably, to make her feel comfortable. Very weird. Lenore, or I think, when a, either she was already a bit unhinged or she went completely unhinged. Uh, let's give these to Shadowheart. What is this? Potion of Glorious Vaulting. Drink this to triple your jump distance. I'll take that myself. Or we could give it to Lazella and have her jump like millions of feet. That's curious. What's curious? lever better poke the lever what did that do i don't know i'm just pressing random buttons what did we have here fog cloud grease expeditious retreat I'll, I'll hang on to them no problem what else more broken machinery we can take all of this stuff another engraved never mind that was the, on the floor below i hope you don't mind the anti-magic field that we're projecting broken machinery Okay. These empty sheets are all that's left of you. The last of all the thoughtless gifts you gave. I will hold on to them. It's all I can do. I can't throw them away. I've never been that brave. Ah, I'm sorry. Oh god, it's so sad. Always room for more. Yeah, Lenore seemed pretty lonely. I wonder what happened to her. That's an animated armor. Screech, it says. Good to know animated armors can screech. Um, but they don't seem hostile, so I'm not going to antagonize them. Normal antagonize Bernard. I may talk to Bernard once more. Like, we're at the top of the tower. Surely there must be some sort of, uh, reward for reaching the apex. Okay, there's something down there. 
Uh, I guess minus three hit points. Jesus, we're not that high up. Come on. I can jump down that high in real life. Let's climb up. Let's there to be found up on the roof. Good vantage point, though. Lots to be found here. You know what? We still need to go to that place where there are all those petrified people. There's more to the Underdark. We're, we're not done with this place yet. Kind of feeling like we're getting to that point, but not yet. Let's talk to Bernard. Maybe this time we won't ask for a hug, but that did give us a bit of insight. So we know that Lenore is either a gnome or a dwarf. Or a halfling. <laughs> or human dwarfism, I guess. It's also possible. Um, how can I trust? How will I ever know? How can I show myself? My darkest me. You do not believe the secret show. Reveal the truth. What you wish to see. Okay. Um. Okay. Um. What is this place? You literally only respond to poetry. Who are you? Okay. Uh. These empty sheets are all that's left of you, the last of all the thoughtless gifts you gave. I'll hold up to them. This all that I can do. I can't throw them away. I've never been that brave. Potion of greater healing. Okay. Maybe this is the reward. Is being able to talk to him? and find all kinds of little riddles. So perhaps I need to look further through this tower and see if there's more things that we can find. See more, more little bits of poetry. I'll check this pile of books. Why am I so... Ah, I'm encumbered. Really got encumbered from a post of creator healing. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's throw these into the uh, alchemy bag. I have too much stuff already. So cluttered. I imagine Ash is a fairly disorganized person. Well, uh, we can give that to Lazel. We can give that to Lazel. We can give the drow studded leather armor. Give that to Shadowheart. Fighter step boots, we'll give it to Shadowheart. Uncovered Mysteries? I'll give that to, to Gale. No, I should hold on to it, just in case I need to do some. Uh, that was weird. I felt a buzzing, like phone was ringing. Yet, my phone is nowhere to be seen anywhere, so... Hmm. Most odd. <laughs> Blood Guzzler's Garb? Yeah, that's going to go to, to Karlak, because then she can actually make use of the unencumbered defender, or the the barbarian ability. Just right now, like, all the armor I found supersedes her constitution, so once she has higher constitution, then it'll actually be better to have her fight unarmored. Um, I think we're, we're fine. Oh, okay, yeah. Um, there was nothing else in here? There was not. Okay. Then we go down. Descend. So, oh, it does actually just move everybody, so I don't need to put everybody on the actual lift. That's that's nice. We did check that. Yeah, we did. To the gray. You know, what? I'm I'm reading every single book we have here and every single little torn page just to see if there's more interactions that we can get. Nothing here. What does to the gray say? Ah, this is another one. Yes, indeed. From Baraquir we made our stand, meant to rule, but led astray. By wicked tentacle and wicked hand, this world belongs to the Grey. Orindol stole all we had, yet taught the weapons by which to slay. 
Forge your minds to ironclad, this world belongs to the Grey. The exile freed us with his command to conquer what was taken away. Crush every monument into finest sand, this world belongs to the Grey. Trade your heart for steel intent, for with whip and f mind we flay. Let them all hear of our descent, this world is nothing but Grey. Is it, it, hmm, all of this sounds kind of Gith Yankee to me. Oral histories of Faerun, Gith, and the Mind Flayers. I'm, I'm just gonna... Yeah, there's more poetry here, so... I reckon... Letter from Amareth we've already read. I reckon every single piece of readable stuff... But that, that's also a painting. Tiger Mist. What the fuck is Tiger Mist? Where's Tiger Mist? This is probably another Divinity Original Sin 2 character, I would guess. I just don't recall a character named Tiger Mist. But... Where, where did it go? Here. Tiger Mist. Let's examine it. Oh. A huge improbable peak eludes the prowling of this mist. Elude the prowling of this mist, known as Tiger Mist in the Faerunian folklore for its strange padding quality. Okay. Uh, so, not Divinity Original Sin. <laughs> ah, that was one. <laughs> Marcus Miles. You must be a, Dur a Divinity Original Sin character. Question is, where's this painting? Let's see here. Damn it. Yeah, that's definitely. A brusque-looking dwarf is picked out in a broad, evocative brushstrokes. His magnificent hat is bettered only by his beard. That's the dwarf pirate that you can recruit. Okay, we will head further down, descend to the next level, because there's... I, I, I'd rather just get it all in one go. Dusty book. Who knows what this is going to be. There's a light in every living thing. It's crawling towards the surface to survive, and in its wake it tramples everything. We'll kill the rest so that the one can thrive. Interesting. Well, we're picking up more lines as we go. It's kind of a cool puzzle, I will say. Ah, this lever's gonna open the door, right? Yeah. We don't need no levers to open the doors, we just go through the window. Alright. Extend. One more. Kind of an interesting puzzle. I I'm normally I I'm not the biggest fan of puzzles in games. I'm just... I don't have a puzzly brain. Most of the time they just annoy me. I like puzzling through stuff myself. But not when I'm kind of forced to do it. To accomplish something. Yeah. We already got that one. So that seems to be it. We'll descend to the last floor. I think this is the last floor. Yes. Okay. Was there anything up here? Gilded chests? No? Not here. Maybe down at the bottom. I'm also keeping a lookout to see if anything's changed. Because we did pull some levers and press some buttons. Which did not appear to do anything. But I imagine they probably did something. I just don't know what. Treatises on anti-magic properties of such tree flowers. We already read that, and that was not actually a, uh... Oh, hi. Uh, don't think we've been down here. <laughs> Did we miss this, or was this always here? That, wait, no, that's, that's, that's two ways to phrase the same question. Did we miss this, or... Did this just appear because of a button press? This is pretty cool, though. I wonder if we're going to find Lenore. I, I have kind of a bad feeling about this. The Excavation of the Enclave of Naloth. Let's give this a look. Elminster said Naloth was such a wonder to behold when it floated in the Faerun sky. It floated in Faerun sky. He was surely right. This Netherese Enclave... Ah, we're talking about the Netherese. The, their floating cities. The ones that came undone when Karsus' folly ended magic. We talked about this with uh, Gale. 
Um, this nethery enclave was once a jewel in the Empire of Magic, with towers that pierced the heavens, and yet it fell, just as all Netherese enclaves did, crashing down when Karsus's folly ripped magic from the world. But even after it collapsed into the sea, its ruins still held a strange, twisted beauty. Yeah. I traveled here from Halrua, when I heard the sea had retreated and the ruins of Naloth were visible once again. Alas, I was not the first. Looters have stripped the enclave of its material wealth, destroying much of its esoteric riches in the process. I found arcane books to use to make campfires, their magic now lost to the ages. I have met some Shadowvar here whose interests align with mine. What the hell are... What's a Shadowvar? Feel free to tell me in the comments. And we have agreed to search the ruins together. I'm grateful for these allies. The ruins are mostly filled with thick-skulled adventurers, but I cannot shake the feeling that someone is watching us, waiting to see what we uncover. That's kind of cool. Uh, tongues of Madness. Ah, more Tongues of Madness. Great, let's stock up. These are alchemical reagents, and we are going to have to use some of them just to uh, do stuff. Staff of Arcane Blessing. This may be something for Gale. Uh, let's have a look at this. What does it do? Mister's Blessing. Bless grants an additional 1d4 bonus to saving throws and weapon attack rolls, and an additional 2d4 bonus to spell attack rolls. But it doesn't grant bless, does it? One with the weave. So let's let's look here and see if it's actually going to. What does his staff give him? The ray of sickness. Does this? Oh, it does grant you bless. I mean, this makes too much thematic sense not to use. On Gale, like this is literally his 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 thing. Staff of the Crones. I can hold on to this myself. Right now, I'm using the glaive, and I like the glaive because of its bonus action thorn whip thing. But it might be I give the glaive to like Halson or something. I don't know if Halson can use glaives, but in case he can, I might give it to Halson. What do we got? Books, wooden barrel, bookshelf, random ones. I don't think these are going to matter. Um, hello. Alright. Arrow of Illmater, going to camp. Arrow of something or another, going to camp. New ring, the Sparks Wall. The wearer can't be electrocuted, and you gain resistance to lightning damage. Really cool. Uh, I'm gonna give that to Lazel. I'm gonna hold on to all of these. Scroll of Fear. Fuck yes, Fear is an awesome spell. Um, alright. Yeah, you, you got ring slots. Take them. Give me immune to lightning damage. I like that. Good chest. Not as bad as it could have. And we got some more my fate can carry me. oil. Alright. No more poetry. And that's just gonna blast us to the top floor. That is really cool, so that would have been another way to get up there. Scroll of Melf's Acid Arrow. Oh, hell yeah. Melf's Acid Arrow is also really cool. Scrolls of Dark Vision. Keep all of these. More Melf's Acid Arrow in, in large as well. Scorching Ray. Wow. It's a treasure trove. Poor Lenore, she's gonna come back and find out that Let's everything's been pilfered. The real question is, what about down there? Can we go down here? No. Not enough space. Guess not. And still no sign of Lenore. I don't know what happened to her. Empiric touch, burning hands, false life. Taking it all. I mean, I don't think she needs it anymore. I, I have a feeling Lenore is dead. Yeah, blast us to the top floor. That's, that's that's nice. Very convenient. These noises are creeping me out. I think this is just the ambient sounds. Yeah, it doesn't look like the automatons have turned on us, so that's nice. Um, well, there's always more poetry to be read. There is a light in every living thing. It's crawling towards the surface to thrive. And in its wake, it tramples everything. We'll kill the rest, so that the one can thrive. That's ominous. Fed by you. Did she program? I mean, I say program. Lenore programmed in a suicide phrase. That's dark. I mean, I was already getting the suspicion that, like, this did not end well for her. 
Oh man, the question is, is it going to end well for us? And when is the last time I saved? You have 70 health. Uh, you look pretty dangerous. I wish I would have found my familiar already, but that does use up a spell slot, which I don't have. Oh man, I, I'm going to be stuck just using uh, Astral... Uh, or Astral? Uh, Eldritch Blast. I'm not in combat with him. So we're going to go away. And... Uh, I could Scorching Ray him. That's... I think I'm gonna do it. Scorching Ray is worth more damage. Although, maybe I should blast one of these. Let me quickly check. What's their... Uh, do they have fire resistance? Psychic and poison. Alright. Not fire. I'm gonna Scorching Ray one of them. Let's get rid of the adds. Okay, one of them was a miss, of course. It does... It can miss. Let's see if we can't whip him down. Nope, just knocked him over. But then just get back up instantly. It's kind of a shame. All right. Lazelle, you're going to have to tank this. Oh, boy. Uh, we do have a potion of greater healing. You're going to use that right now. Because I have a suspicion this is going to be kind of a rough fight. Uh, so, yeah, you have your weapon drawn there. So we could charge him. We could try and do the Falara Luve. It's an action to do it. Effective creatures receive an extra 1d4 thunder damage. Is that just from any attack, or...? This will grant allies a bonus. I'm gonna use Falara Luve to sing. Okay, so that only is going to affect when they're in range. So I am going to use Action Surge now, because we gotta get some damage in. Why can't I attack? I can, it's just our action bar is... Hold on. There we go. Problem solved. I... It is staggeringly recent when I figured out that you could do this. <laughs> I'm watching another uh, Baldur's Gate playthrough. Don't worry, like, I'm very careful to not progress beyond where I am right now. So, that, by the way, if you guys want to give me... Uh, I, I got a uh, comment that was asking if uh, they should do this or not. If you guys want to give me spoilers for something I've already done and just tell me, like, hey, you can also do it in this different way... Feel free. Go ahead. That, that's 100% okay. I will replay the game, but at that point, I'm not looking for a completely new experience. Like, there will be certain story beats. I would prefer, like, maybe don't do that with story beats, but for mechanics, it's fine. Like, teaching me how to do things uh, mechanically differently is 100% uh, okay uh, if, if I've already done it. Uh, but yeah, so I, I'm watching a, uh, a different Baldur's Gate playthrough, and uh, I saw that he had this, <laughs> the bigger action bar, and I was like, what? <laughs> you can do that? <laughs> and was opening up, like, the multiple character screens at a time. <laughs> uh, yeah, if you guys are interested, uh, it's, uh, the channel is called, uh, Lil Indigestion. It's, uh, it's also a small channel, definitely bigger than mine, but, uh, yeah, he's, he's got great humor and, uh, also looks at things in a very, uh, thorough, detailed way, and is also a writer, so, you know, some similarities there. If you're looking for more of such content like I offer here, but then different, you know, we don't do things quite the same way. I would recommend his channel. It's, uh, it's good. Alright, that's a miss. Let's see what he can do. Thankfully he missed. Is that his turn? It is. Great. Uh, Shadowheart. I think we're gonna take some damage. So, ah, fuck. So you're gonna cast Warden of Vitality. Okay, so this is going to allow her to use the healing, so drop a healing on Lazel. Move her over here. That's her turn. Okay. Gale! What's Gale going to do? So, the resistant to poison, which is a shame, but I doubt they're resistant to force, so we're going to use a level 2 magic missile. How much health do you have? 13? I think I need to... Hit you with four of them, which is unfortunate. And then I'll hit you with... No, I'm not going to hit you, because I want to test something. I forgot to do it. We'll hit you. All right, that's one animator armor down. Good. Good job, Gale. Entropic Ward. Ouch. That did not help me very much. Shadowheart. Okay, Shadowheart got high AC, so... Ow! Okay, these guys are jerks. I didn't even realize there was another one. 
So, Eldritch Blast. Uh, we're going to take you out as soon as possible. Damn, one missed. Okay, so we need to advance up to here. Going with you. That worked. Oh, I could have potentially knocked him off of here, but... Okay, Lazel. Alright, here's what I wanted to try. So... No. Can we, uh... Oh, hold on. Susser Flower Anti-Magic Field is preventing the character from draining... Or this is draining the character of its magical energy, preventing it from casting spells. So this thing can cast spells? Or maybe it's just... Maybe it can't, and it's just saying that because that's what the Susser Magic thing does. But I wanted to try out something. Let's throw a Susser Bloom at one of these guys. Anti-magic field. So it does something. Wait, it's incapacitated? That's really cool. Okay, but now... Uh, I may have just... Juiced him up. Because I, I don't know what this guy's capable of. Uh, we'll use the bleeding attack. I know that... It's a construct immune to bleeding. Okay, it is actually immune to bleeding. That was sort of a test to see, like, <laughs> does this actually work in game? How it should work? Uh, I am going to chug a potion of speed. Like, we can make these, so this is going to give her a lot of attacks, and I want to take Bernard down. He seems like he might be scary. I'm not doing very much damage, which is uh, a shame. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's uh, that's a problem. Okay. Okay. Get out of there. Um. Oh, fuck. I don't know if we should be getting out of there that much, though. We need to be able to heal. We get over here. Drop the heal on Lazel. The spell is awesome, by the way. Um. I guess you're just gonna firebolt. I, I kind of want to take the ads out, though, but I, I know. This guy's worse. This guy does a ton of damage. Yes. Fuck. All right. Allow me to demonstrate. Gale, get out of the magic. And, uh, and we are basically out of potent spells here. Rare Frost could do something. Could reduce his movement speed. Could also bless. I'm gonna bless Lays. Oh, we can bless up to three people. All right. Bless yourself. And bless Ash. That is now going to give them even bigger bonuses, and that's really cool that he can do that without expending a spell slot. So that actually makes Bless really good. Missile Snaring, yes please. Always use Missile Snaring. Ha! Ow. Ah, for fuck's sake, it's a concentration ability. God, concentration is obnoxious. I, I don't... Mind it as a concept. It's just, it's just annoying. <laughs> like conceptually, it's a fine thing. Okay. Oh man. Well, we're dragging it closer. Oh, it's dead. Cool. Um. Yeah, give this to Lazel. All right. Well, that's one's gone. Um. Well, yeah, Lazel, your turn, huh? I think, uh, give yourself your healing. Second wind. And then just lay into Bernard here. Oh, Jesus! Move this way. We need to bring him to the anti-magic field. Because that just dealt damage back to her. That is not good. At all, actually. Whatever threat these guys provide, Listen to you. I I'm grabbing this. Excuse me? I'm picking this up again and <laughs> moving back towards him because we need to turn this off. <laughs> can I just throw a uh, an alchemist fire here? Maybe we can set him on fire or is there something else? Maybe we can just throw this at him. Can I do that? Just 
throw this right here. Hit, it, hit him with the, uh, the chakra bloom. That disable his magic field? Doesn't look like it. What about if we shoot him? Is that gonna trigger? Yes, it does. My injuries need tending. Christ on a bicycle. All right. Um. Can't shoot you now. What about you? Can't. Yeah, we can actually. Well, shoot him then. Six damage. It's something. Okay. Uh, and he's not perturbed by this in the slightest. And then we're gonna take damage. This is kind of bad, actually. So now Shadowheart's stuck in there. Heal Lazel, because she's about dead. You're also about dead, but, you know, what can you do? No, smoke powder. Be too big of a, an explosion. So I, I don't know how we can actually do this. <laughs> This is a bit of a rough situation, if I do say so myself. Now I kind of wish I had that grants resistance against energy, but I do not. I don't want to attack him. We'll take out the... Uh, Take out the ads, because they, they can still drop in some damage. The lance board is set. Yeah, you get the hell out of here. On my way. Oh man. Yeah, you also extend here. Um, so we can do a scorching ray. We can channel another magic missile, or I can do a level two magic missile to try and get some damage in. But that's just going to radiate so much damage back. How, like, how does this work actually? The static discharge aura. All constructs near Bernard. Ah, oh, Jesus. All others take two to six lightning damage each turn. It doesn't actually say static discharge to attackers if they are in the static discharge aura. Okay, so if we're outside of the aura, then we don't take damage from it. Good to know. Then I think I'm gonna magic missile him, or I can try and scorching ray him. Scorching ray could do more damage, but what's his AC? 19. Pretty good. I'm gonna use Magic Missile. <laughs> Level 2. Hit him with as much as possible. Take him down. Dealt some damage. Dealt pretty good damage there. Good job, Gale. Okay. Thank you for missing. Yeah, I should not have used the Susser Flower on those in the slightest. Okay, we've got to take Bernard down. He is actually terrifying. Nice double hit. I'll take it. Hit him with the Thorn Whip. Good, he's in range. Almost dead. Damn, that was a miss. Um, the Lazel could take him out. The question is... Ah, I don't have her with Magic Missile anymore. <laughs> I removed it from her. So I was like, ah, we don't need that on her. <laughs> Uh, well, unfortunately, it would be cool to have that on her right now. 35% chance. How much damage will it even do? 3 to 8. It's not going to kill it. Though I can make two attacks, so we're going to try. Immune to gaping wounds. Of course it is. Well, then we're just going to use our standard attack. Maybe it'll actually finish it off. No. I got four attacks. I forgot that. With my potion of speed. Oh my god, if you can hit him one more time, we can end this. Urgh, it's close. At the very least, he's not gonna hit everyone. Can't target. Okay. Static discharge. Okay. Oh, it's it's over. He just deactivates when it when it ends. That's clutch. Uh, who needs healing the most? Uh, I'll give it to myself, actually. Shadow Heart, I should say. Uh, can you give him a, a little tap? Thank you. That's enough for you. All right, let's go uh, threaten threaten him. Death is but a word away. All right, I think we got this. Firebolt. Thank you. Thirteen damage. That was a lot. And the animated armor should uh, should go down easily at this point. That's fucked up. That that was like a a suicide code. 
but that is something that she programmed in to Bernard. Or perhaps it was a trap code? In case people cracked it? I don't know. It doesn't necessarily mean it has to be a suicide code, but a lot about Lenore seemed pretty depressed. And I wonder if we can actually discover what happened to her. I, I didn't find anything, any God indication. Warden of Vitality is such a good spell. It is ridiculous. A tale for the ages. May it please, Mistra. Okay, I know he said a tale for the ages. May it please, Mistra. And I figured that out right after he said it. But for the first split second when he said a tale for the ages, I misheard and thought he said a potato for the ages. And then I figured, you know what? That's probably not what Gale would say. Just... <laughs> But at the same time, what would a potato of the ages be? Ow. Ow. What it? Right. We could make you die. That would be fantastic. Kaboom. All right. Good job, Ash. Ash finished them off. All right. What about these animated armor? Why doesn't the animated armor come with armor? Or you can't loot armor from the animated armor? Open up. That's depressing. I, I didn't want to kill Bernard. Never mind. Maybe I did want to kill Bernard. What is this? Light of creation. Overcharge. Stuns? Chance to stun the wielder unless it's a construct. Uh, wait. Is this implying we can get a construct in our party? Best in to make camp. Yeah. Uh, guiding light. Okay, just a ring that grants light. It's an uncommon ring. Okay, orange is uncommon. So is green. What's the difference? Um, is green just a, a random, like, randomized item rolls, whereas this is a unique? Maybe. An antique key. I don't know if there's anything that we need a key for. That there was anything that was, like, super locked. What's interesting about this weapon. I bet it looks cool. It's just a chance to stun unless you're a construct sounds not ideal. Uh, I'm gonna give it to Lazel. I'm gonna give that to Lazel as well. And uh, I guess we're we're done here. Do I keep the Susser flower? Because that was actually that uh, I misused it. I probably should have just kept it where it was. But it's it's a cool concept that you can use that in the way that you did. But yeah, let's rest. I don't think there's anything. We probably lockpicked our way through this, which. I do like that you can lockpick just about everything. Because a lot of games, like, there's things that you can lockpick, just the random loot chests, but then, like, the important ones you actually have to find a key for. And I, I was always just like, okay, why the hell can't I just lockpick this? Like, I can lockpick anything else. And th this game does not seem to have that. I, I can't recall. Like, there's some that are sealed by some sort of magical puzzle and everything, like the saloon, the selenite chest, but that makes sense. The ones that are just mundanely locked that require regular keys to open. Those should be lock pickable. And it seems like they are, because I bet this... I'm assuming that this key opened up one of the uh, chests that we have already opened. But alright, let's, uh... We're gonna do a long rest. Because, <laughs> uh, we're rather battered, so... We will do that, and we will talk to our companions here. And that's probably where we're going to uh, end the episode afterwards you know, not have a two hour long episode. And I think this is a good natural ending point. And then after that, I want to inspect the area where we have the petrified people and have another quick look around. Um, see if we missed anything. Um, I don't think we need to talk to Barkus Root. Is there anybody that we need to speak to? Here? Will? We, we haven't talked to Will well, in a while. Do you have anything new to say? No. Okay. Gail, what about you? What's on your mind? Nothing, actually. It doesn't seem like there's anything new to interact with our companions about. I'll, I'll ask uh, Karlak okay, after I steal her silver spoon. Thing. No, believe she doesn't mind. What's on your mind? Uh, nothing. Because we also still need to find the uh, the gift crash. Talk to Volo. God, every time I talk to Volo, I'm like, why am I doing this? My friend! How do you fare? 
Has your research turned up anything that might help with this parasite problem? Uh. Are you playing doctor? Shouldn't I sanitize My myself first? Turned up a rather brilliant technique that seems quite actionable. It's not too deep. Just behind the orbital socket. I could attempt an extraction. I've a needle in my tunic, after all. No. That is not a fucking needle. That is a bloody misericord. Uh, how many times have you done this before? I saw you. I've dreamt of it a thousand times over. This parasite is unusual. I have it on good authority that extraction is currently impossible. You won't find a more learned opinion on this matter, I assure you. No. God, I... Oh, I, I, he is so obnoxious. You only have a matter of days to live. Don't dally, my friend. Yeah, I'm not. I'm just not... Can I just... Assume nothing. You have higher strength. An efficient path. What's... Just, just out of curiosity. Hmm. There's a mushroom in the way. Don't think that would kill him either. Darn. It's worth All a try. Right. What now? Let's, uh, let's, let's, let's have going. a sleep. I need a rest after that. Bloody Volo. It's not the stupidity that bothers me. It's the unapologetic mix of arrogance and stupidity that bothers me. <laughs> you can be arrogant, but if you can back it up, okay. I mean, you're, you're still arrogant, but at least you can back it up. You can be stupid, but at least if you don't claim to be smarter than everybody else. It's kind of, you know, it's fine. You know, oftentimes this is not something that's in your control. Uh, oftentimes it is, but some people choose to be stupid. Some people choose not to accept knowledge that is given. Some people are just, you know, born with less capacity to absorb knowledge and that's not their fault at all. But when you act like you're the smartest guy around and you are I don't know, pretty objectively the dumbest person in this camp. Then I'm sorry. I'm obliged to not like you. <laughs> Alright, let's uh let's do a rest. See if anything happens. If nothing happens, then uh doesn't look like anything's happening. Alright, it seems the regular nightly encounters thing has uh died down a little bit, which is fine. The, Something doesn't need to happen every single night. That's not a complaint. <laughs> Use it sparingly and it becomes more impactful. All right, guys, that's going to be all for today. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed it. This was a bit of more of a, a puzzle episode, slower paced. Uh, we did get a cool fight at the end. That uh, that animated armor fight was interesting. I like the use of the Susser flower and how you could uh, interact with the fight in that way. I did not use it to the best of my abilities, but hey, that's fine. Uh, it's, uh, it's a cool... Uh, Cool concept, and depressing connotations about that tower. Just just all around the board. Very bleak. I hope Lenore never utilized that function of Bernard. I hope we'll find Lenore and she'll be alive and she'll have found her peace. But somehow I doubt it. Maybe she finished her research. Maybe she left. Who knows? Alright guys, drop this video a like if you've enjoyed it, and uh, the next one will be up in a couple of days. And once again, if you are interested in this type of content, want to see something, you know, a bit different, but same style of gameplay, same style of narrative, same, you know, interact with your companions, CRPG type of stuff, check out my Rogue Trader series. It is a ton of fun. And, uh, you know, disregard what I say in the first episode about maybe I'm going to make this into a series. Nope, it's it's a series. <laughs> we're, we're, we're doing it. I'm enjoying it too much. And uh, it's also doing pretty well, so I mean, it's doing okay. So, that'll be all. Ash Arter out.